Now it's time for pudding. Each week on the F Word, a guest tries to beat me with their recipe for a pudding. I think my rhubarb crumble will beat Gordon's because it's just going to be simple. It's going to be a nice traditional recipe that my nan's cooked for years, my mum's cooked for years, I've cooked for years, and I'm really good at. And uh, people like that. People don't like stuff too fancy. We have a bit of custard on the top. Great. Right, Christopher, how are you? Very well. How are yes? You? Good. Now, what's the secret behind the crumble? You must have one ingredient um, up your sleeve that's going to sort of help taste it, help make it taste better. Demerara sugar to make it crunchy. Yes. Caster sugar to make it sweet. Uh huh. Chilled bowl. Yep. So that the butter doesn't melt too much. OK. Very technical there with the yeah. old hands. You look a little bit like Gary Rose. That Thanks. orangutan. This is a very straightforward rhubarb crumble, except we're going to saute the rhubarb off in some fresh vanilla, finish it with a little bit of butter, and then just slightly sprinkle it with sugar so it makes a bit of a caramel. And what are you putting on top of your uh, crumble, Chris? Um, I think I'm going to go for an old favourite that yep. everyone likes. Um, custard. What are you putting on? No, I'm just going to serve it with some mascarpone, lemon mascarpone. Lemon mascarpone? Yes, just something a little bit sort of... I suppose not as rich as custard, but something a little bit lighter. I don't think my nan's going to like yours, you know. This crumble mix is actually quite interesting because we've got some hazelnuts in there, some oats, some flour, demerara sugar, and then just a very light sort of lemon zest in there, just to make it a little bit more vibrant, a little bit sort of easier to eat. Um, one of the tricks of my nan is to keep everything cold. So um, keep your fingertips cold before you knead the butter, and also the bowl has to be chilled. But then it can get moist, so if you wipe it with a tea towel, then it's not moist. So then the butter doesn't kind of go into a paste. It, you can still keep it into a crumble. Because sometimes, um, if things are warm, then it gets a bit too soppy. This is a pickled ginger. And this ginger here is more associated with when you're eating sushi. But it's actually quite sort of light in pickle. And um, it's got rid of that sort of rawness. And it's not so sweet. Um, Chris? Yeah? It's burning. Oh, um, yeah. Can we get some more rhubarb, yeah. please? For Chris, something that we always remember in a kitchen. Yeah. When it's brown, it's cooked. When it's black, it's... The hobs are like industrial hobs. They're too hot. Now it's the hob now, yeah? yeah. Nothing to do with Nana. Nothing to do with your lack of concentration. Now it's the hob. Well, it's your fault. You keep talking. What was the food like um, in EastEnders, in that calf? Oh, it was awful. Was it really? It was awful, yeah. Who was the chef? Well, the, uh, the props guys used to cook the food. Oh, really? Um, and to all their credit, they were quite good, but obviously... If they cooked it like half an hour before, it could be cold. Yeah. I'm just going to put the final topping on top of the rhubarb. And it's actually quite interesting because the oats absorb more of the juice than it would be if it was just sort of flour and butter. And the butter gets it really nice and crispy, and the oats just start to absorb all that flavour from the rhubarb. How long for Nana's recipe? Um, maybe about ten minutes at the most. Ten minutes, OK. Yeah. Do you take this long learning your lines? No. No. Look at that. Nice, homemade, normal rhubarb crumble. Bring it over. I always like to compare them just yeah. before they go in the okay, oven. Okay, well, let's put them together. It's a bit of a chef's thing. Now. Yours looks like bird seed. Okay. Or cat litter. Cat litter. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think mine looks nice, you know, old fashioned. You know that. You haven't tasted it yet, yet you're slagging it off. Chris. Yeah, I know. But I think mine's going to taste better anyway because yours has got all odd ingredients in it. Right, ready? Yeah. Here we go, big boy. Oh, good can luck, have, by the way. Can I have the um, top shelf? You can have whatever shelf you Thank wish. You. I'd like to wish you the best. That's just luck thing, and yours looks awful. 